In this video, we are going to discuss 20 important technical interview questions which can be asked in a technical interview of mechanical engineering. So the very first question, what is Six Sigma? So Six Sigma is a method or it's a tool to improve the capability of the business processes. It increases the performance and it decreases the process variations which ultimately decreases the defects or it improves, it improves the profit, employee moral and the quality of the product or the service that is known as Six Sigma. There are five phases in the Six Sigma which is also known as DMAC where D means define, M means measure, A means analyze, I means improve and C means control. Okay, so Six Sigma is a method that provides organization tool to improve the capability of their business processes. This increases in performance and decreases in process variation, help to lead in defect reduction and improvement in product, employee moral, quality of the products or the service. Next question, explain what is batch production? So first of all, we will understand production. So production is a process in which the raw material is convert into a finish or semi finish product. Okay, there are three types of production that is job production, batch production and mass production. So the batch production is a method of manufacturing where identical or similar items are produced together for different size production runs. The method allows for the products to be mass produced in batches with a small to major change to the product from a car door to the children toys. So here you can see an example of batch production where the products are uh, manufactured in a batch size or in a lot size and that is known as batch production. Next question, what is Kanban? So the Kanban is a is a type of lean manufacturing or it is a method in lean manufacturing and it improves uh, the work access work across the human system okay so kanban is a lean method to manage and improve the work across the human system this approach aims to manage the work by balancing demands with available capacity and by improving the handling uh, handling of system level bottlenecks. Work items are visualized to give participants a view of progress and process from start to finish, usually via Kanban board. So in this system, we are using a Kanban board. Work is pulled as capacity permits rather than work being pushed into the process when requested. So there are two types of uh, manufacturing that is the push manufacturing and pull manufacturing. So in push manufacturing, we are producing the component irrespective of the demand. Whereas in pull manufacturing, the components are produced as per the demand and the Kanban system follows the pull manufacturing. Next question, explain the term BOM that is bill of material. So the answer is a bill of material is a centralized source of information containing a list of items used to manufacture a product and the instructions. So the bill of material consists of list of items which are required to manufacture a product. Suppose you are manufacturing a bike. So uh, you may require the handlebars, frame assembly, seat, right? Again, for manufacturing a frame assembly, the wheels and frame is required. Again, for getting a wheel, the spoke and tire names are required. And for uh, for manufacturing a frame, the aluminum tubing uh, and then the paint is required. Okay, so the bill of material will consist of all the items which are required for manufacturing a bike. Next question, what is MES? So. MES stands for Manufacturing Execution System. So the Manufacturing Execution System are computerized system used in manufacturing to track and document the transformation of raw material to a finished good. So basically MES is a computerized system and it will have all the information from the raw material 
to the finished good mes provides the information that helps manufacturing decision makers understand how current conditions on the plant floor can be optimized to improve the production output so it helps the managers to control the things at the shop floor mes works in real time to enable the control of multiple elements of the production process example input personal machines and support service next question what is the difference between lean manufacturing and jit that is just in manufacturing so here the lean manufacturing works on the defect reduction whereas the just in time is nothing but a management strategy and it works on the inventory so the answer is lean manufacturing is a methodology that focused on minimizing the waste within the manufacturing system while simultaneously maximize the productivity waste is seen as anything that customer do not believe add value and not willing to pay for it so you have to understand what is the waste waste is nothing but the process or it is an activity that do not add value to your product that is known as waste now the just in time inventory system is a management strategy that minimizes the inventory and increases the efficiency so just in time focuses on minimization of inventory next question what is the challenge in manufacturing the product okay so the main challenge in manufacturing is to develop a better production process okay so these are nothing but some rules of a production engineer he has to develop a better production process then ensure the right material and component supplies at a least cost decrease the production time okay so as per the demand you have to ensure the supply of material also so ensure the right material at a right place with a least cost then eliminate the wastage so whatever the wastage that you have to reduce or that you have to eliminate so in lean manufacturing there are uh, seven or eight different waste and that you have to reduce then maintain the quality of final product this is very important so you are responsible for maintaining the quality of the product next question list out the factor that can affect the manufacturing process okay and the answer is the supplies that means uh, the material which you are ordering from your vendors that is known as supplies then the equipment that is the various machines available at your shop floor because this will affect your manufacturing process then the factory overhead means the various people who are working at your shop floor and there are various other components under factory overhead then the special parts and the workforce next question explain the term factory overhead the answer is factory overhead is the cost incurred during the manufacturing process not including the cost of labor direct labor and indirect material so the factory overhead is nothing but the cost incurred during the manufacturing process okay and it does not include the direct labor cost and direct material cost so excluding direct labor and the direct material cost whatever cost incurred incurred during the manufacturing of the product that is known as factory overhead list out some of the example of factory overhead so the answer is factory rent okay so this is not a direct cost factory rent that that you have to pay whether you are producing component or not you have to pay the factory rent then utilities used in the unit then cost behind the equipment setup that is your infrastructure cost then cost behind the equipment maintenance that is the maintenance cost so uh, then the production unit supplies then insurance then fringe benefits depreciation over your equipment over your plant then the salaries then the property taxes on the manufacturing uh, facilities and material management salaries these are nothing but the factory overhead and it does not include direct labor cost and direct material cost next question explain how to supervise in manufacturing unit so the most of the mechanical engineers work at a shop floor and uh, the 
the job is uh, is a kind of supervisory job okay so you will work as a supervisor at a shop floor or you can work as a as a shift in charge at a shop floor so uh, your role is to supervise the thing okay so the uh, how supervision is done the answer is keep the record of different phases of manufacturing so at each each stage you have to keep a record then analyze whether the amount of product produced by the crew is enough to meet the demand then look for the bottlenecks in the unit and see how it can be eliminated then keep the track of inventory and try to reduce the liquid capital used after unused material examine the final good to determine whether they meet the company quality standard so the supervisor are responsible for these many things at the shop floor next question explain how can you calculate manufacturing work in progress okay the answer is manufacturing work in progress is when the manufacturing firm transfer the material into the work in process which include raw material labor and factory overhead it also include labor cost raw material inventory cost production cost and cost of ending work in process for accounting period next question explain what is product report okay this is very important question explain what is product report the answer is a product report is a general term used to represent design manufacturing quality sales and repair information about the product that means product report will consist of all the information related to the product it consist of its design it consist of its manufacturing processes then the the quality terms then the sales and repair information about the product next question what are the software which can be used in manufacturing unit so in manufacturing unit software that can be useful are manufacturing erp and material management some of the companies that provide the manufacturing software solutions are sap oracle and erp systems next question what do you mean by prototype the answer is a prototype is a early sample model or a release of a product built to test a concept or the process a prototype is generally used to evaluate a new design to enhance the precision by system analyst and users next question what are the eight west in lean manufacturing okay this is very important question what are the eight west in lean manufacturing uh, so the answer is transport the very first west that is transport so west in transportation includes movement of people tools inventory equipment or the product further than necessary okay so the excess movement of tools people inventory equipment or the products at a shop floor that is that is a kind of waste and that is under transport then excess inventory at your shop floor that is also waste then motion so the waste in motion includes any unnecessary movement of the people equipment or machinery suppose uh, uh, a worker is manufacturing the product and uh, he is doing some unnecessary movement so those unnecessary movement will increase its fatigue that is also known as west and that west is under motion next west uh, west is wetting the the west of wetting includes people wetting on a material or equipment and idle equipment okay so uh, suppose your worker is wetting over the machine he is not getting a machine uh, for the work that is under uh, west that is under west that is known as wetting or the idle equipment you are not using the equipment for some period that is also a kind of waste then over production over production occurs when the manufacturing a product or an element of the product before it is being asked for the required okay uh, we have already discussed push manufacturing and pull manufacturing so in push manufacturing you are not considering the demand and you are manufacturing the products or the elements used in the product so that is also a kind of waste because you are not considering the demand in the market then over processing 
ओवर प्रोसेसिंग रेफर्स टू डूइंग मोर वर्क एडिंग मोर कंपोनेंट्स और हैविंग मोर स्टेप्स इन ए प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस देन व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द कस्टमर ओके सो ओवर ओवर प्रोसेसिंग मीन्स देर आर सम सम एक्टिविटीज विच आर नॉट एडिंग द वैल्यू इन साइड दैट कंपोनेंट दैट इज नोन एज ओवर प्रोसेसिंग एंड द लास्ट वेस्ट दैट इज डिफेक्ट सो द डिफेक्ट ऑकर वेन द प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट फिट फॉर द यूज सो सपोज यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द कंपोनेंट सपोज यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग हंड्रेड कंपोनेंट एंड आउट ऑफ विच एवरी टाइम यू आर गेटिंग सम एट टू टेन डिफेक्टिव कंपोनेंट्स सो दैट इज ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ वेस्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द टर्म पोका योके सो द पोका योके इज अ जापनीज टर्म दैट मीन्स मिस्टेक प्रूफिंग अ पोका योके इज एनी मैकेनिजम इन एनी प्रोसेस दैट हेल्प्स एन इक्विपमेंट ऑपरेटर टू अवॉइड द मिस्टेक्स Its purpose is to eliminate the product defect by preventing, correcting, or drawing attention to the human error as they occur. Next question: What is the difference between production and manufacturing? So, the production converts input or intermediates to a final output or services, which may or may not use machinery. <coughs> okay, so the production may or may not use machineries. <coughs> sorry suppose you are producing the component in that case machines are required and suppose you are giving service to the customer in that case the machinery is may not required and that is known as production <coughs> manufacturing is the process of transferring raw material into a finished good by developing various sequential processes labors and machineries so in manufacturing you are converting the raw material into a finish or semi finished good which requires uh, various sequential processes various labors and the machines next question what is design for manufacturing the answer is design for manufacturing is the process of designing parts components or products for ease of manufacturing with an end goal of making a better product at a lower cost this is done by simplifying optimizing and refining the product design dfa is sometimes used interchangeably with dfm next question what is 5s so the answer is 5s is defined as a methodology that results in a workplace that is clean uncluttered safe and well organized to help reduce waste and optimize productivity it's designed to help build a quality work environment both physically and mentally so uh, in five years there are five different japanese word and those japanese word is are seri siton siso siketsu and shitseku seri means sorting so it eliminates uh, the sorting means eliminate whatever is not needed by separating needed tools parts and instruction from unneeded material then siton means set in order that means organize whatever remains by neatly arranging and identifying parts and tools for ease of use then siso means shine clean the work area by conducting a clean up campaign then siketsu that means standardize schedule regular cleaning and maintenance by conducting seri siton and siso daily and the last one that is shiketsu that means sustain make 5s a way of life by forming the habit of always following the first four 5s and this last uh, last strategy that is sustain it is related with self discipline So thank you so much for watching this video thank you